Welcome back. I'm Shelby Latino. And I'm Rob Krieger. Hurricane Barrel takes aim at the Caribbean as a powerful Category 4 storm as our area deals with excessive heat. Let's send it over to meteorologist Hannah Gard with your first alert forecast. Thanks, guys. We just saw landfall from Hurricane Barrel. It's going over parts of the Windward Islands. And you can see that we have a very strong eye here that tightened up. So unfortunately, as it's making a landfall, this is the strongest that we've seen this hurricane so far. It now has 150 mile per hour sustained winds and it's moving west northwest at 20 miles per hour. So a pretty fast moving storm here for the southern windward islands. This is easily the strongest hurricane they have ever seen. So the reason for that upgrade in the winds from the beginning of the hour, we were saying 140 for the winds. Now you could see 150 because the hurricane hunters flew through the eye and they saw 168 mile per hour surface winds. Now you do have to extrapolate that a little bit down. So that's why we have 150 now, but a very, very strong and devastating storm for those areas. As this continues into the Caribbean, we are going to see a category four remain until it gets to about the central Caribbean. We have slightly less sea surface temperatures. They're not quite as boiling as over here to the east and it's going to be battling a lot of wind shear. So luckily we are looking at a weakening storm after this for the further areas that could be impacted, including Jamaica, the Yucatan Peninsula and parts of Central America. But if you're heading to those areas for the 4th of July holiday at the end of this week, make sure you're considering a plan for a strong storm. It's still going to be a hurricane as we see impacts to the northern Caribbean areas. Then we see that move into the southern Gulf. Notice that downgrade to a tropical storm. It's really battling a volatile environment. So that's good news for us. We're not looking at a hurricane at this moment in the long term in the Gulf. But right now, our friends in the Windward Islands really dealing with a strong storm. So here's the wind shear. You can see it's in the northern Caribbean. It starts to really interact with that. That's why we have that downgrade. And the wind shear is going to continue to be very strong over the Gulf. So not expecting to see a strong hurricane. There are still a couple of models with on the steering here. You can see trying to come northward. We have high pressure over us that's keeping us hot right now, which is good news. We'll deal with the heat because it moves these storms westward. You can see a couple of these models trying to take that north turn. But again, those are strong hurricanes that these are forecasting, but it's going to be dealing with a pretty unconducive environment. So more leaning towards this westward trend. So is the National Hurricane Center and the high pressure that's bringing us the heat, at least staying strong enough to keep it farther south for us. But you can see that track westward for each of these waves. We also had Tropical Storm Chris early this morning. Then it was Tropical Depression. Now just remnants went straight into Mexico. It had that westward track barrel taking the westward track and then we have a wave behind it. This did have a high chance of formation into a tropical system now downgraded to a medium chance. It's probably dealing with a lot of upwelling from barrel, which is when the cooler waters get brought to the surface. So it's not quite as conducive of an environment as barrel was seeing, but we still could see a tropical system form out there following behind barrel. So something to watch in the long term, but right now, we're pretty protected by this ridge of high pressure. That's this clockwise spin that you can see in the atmosphere. I also wanted to point out, you can see a little low that's spinning up, getting pulled into that high from the remnants of what was Chris. So this is keeping us hot and we're dealing with the heat with the humidity. So it's into that dangerous category. You can see heat alerts across the entire region. We have excessive heat warning in effect for us today. So giving you the first alert for that. It's once again, going to be dangerous heat especially when you see sun for long periods of time. Anything above 112 with the heat index value, we're not getting a lot of relief overnight. So this is going to be a heat risk for everybody. It's already feeling like 100 degrees right now. So if you have to be outside for extended periods today, make sure you're taking those heat precautions and staying safe. Temperature wise, we're going to be into the mid 90s. We only get that relief in the evening hours. So try to plan your outdoor activities for the morning and the evening.
We see a dip in the temperatures Wednesday. That's because it is going to be a little bit rainier. We don't quite get a lot of showers today and tomorrow, but this boundary that's down south of us will pull north and that's going to increase that shower and storm coverage into the middle of the week. But after that, we're expecting more heat to build. So just a brief period of relief through the 4th of July, still going to be dealing with some dangerous heat all the way into the weekend. Back to you.